Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. The topic I would like to cover in this video is five practical tips to overcome the fear of speaking English in front of people. After a decade of experience in teaching classes, presenting papers in national and international conferences, and giving talks, I have no fear of speaking in front of people now. I even enjoy giving speeches to large audiences. And of course, I am concerned about what to talk about and how to talk from time to time. What I know though is that my talk will be a great success if I prepare it thoughtfully and practice it several times. This has not always been the case, however. Although I was pretty confident in presenting something in front of my classmates and professors in my native language, it was quite different for me to speak in front of crowd using a language I'm not a native speaker of. Being a clumsy speaker of English, I found it difficult to conquer my fear of using the language in front of both native speakers and even non-native speakers. I was scared of embarrassing myself, using the wrong words, or saying the wrong things in front of my audience. Eventually, I did get better. Today, I want to share several tips and advice on how to overcome my fears. Tip number one, be ready. It helps when you know what you are going to say beforehand. Although you cannot be completely prepared when it comes to conversations, you can be fully prepared when it comes to a speaking engagement in class or presenting a paper in a conference. If you do not have much experience in speaking in front of people in English, you might want to prepare a script ahead of time and memorize it and rehearse the presentation multiple times until you feel comfortable. Your confidence will only improve with practice and readiness. In addition, write down possible questions that can be raised as well as your possible answers. Doing this will limit the chances that your mind will go blank and that you will become more fearful. Once you feel comfortable presenting something in English, you might want to prepare key talking points or an outline of your presentation instead of making script for every word you need to say. Try to avoid improvising. Stick to your plan, but don't forget to rehearse your talk several times before giving the actual presentation. Tip number two is Visualize your presentation is going smoothly. Before I give an important speech or a talk, I practice some mental exercise for 5 to 10 minutes. So in private, I sit up straight in a chair and straighten my back and shoulders. Then I close my eyes and breathe in and out to calm my nerves just for maybe a couple of minutes like I'm doing a meditation. Then I visualize myself giving a great speech with the audience paying attention to my talk and giving me positive responses. It may sound ridiculous and even so odd, but visualizing yourself as a fluent speaker and a great presenter will help boost your confidence. So try this visualization exercise about 5 minutes in private before you speak to a crowd. 1. Sit up straight in a chair and straighten your back and shoulders and close your eyes and breathe in and out to calm your nerve for just a minute or two. And visualize yourself giving a great speech. And picture your audience paying attention to your talk and giving you positive responses. 
you will experience an instant but excellent payoff for 5-minute investment. Tip number 3 is check your body language during presentation. Your body reflects what you feel inside. When you are nervous, it will show in your body. Maybe you start sweating, your limbs fidget, or you keep your hands in your pocket. When you are nervous, your audience will notice it even more, and they will be uncomfortable watching your presentation. Amy Curry, an expert in the impact of body language, gave a great TED Talk with some great tips about what kind of posture and body language we should use in giving a speech. She suggested using a high power poses such as making yourself bigger and opening yourself up to boost your positive hormones. She said to practice this kind of high power poses in private before giving a speech or having a job interview in private. I also want to suggest that you do a bigger postures during your presentations when appropriate. When you adopt a bigger body posture and bigger body language, the audience react more actively and you will feel more confident in your talk. If you have not watched Amy Cody's TED Talk yet, I highly recommend you watch it not just once, a few times. So check the description section below for the link. To help lessen my fear, I also try to stand straight and make eye contact with my listeners during the talk. If you find making direct eye contact difficult, look at their forehead or just a little above. In that way, you can avoid the direct eye contact while still looking at your audience. Remember not to cross your arms across your chest. That gives your listeners the impression that you are closed off and that will affect how they respond. Instead, use your arms and hands to make gestures and help get your message across. Tip number four is sharpen your listening skills. Researchers say that the sounds are more mentally stimulating than visuals. This is why there are so many people who learn English or other languages through music or by listening to people converse in English or other language. But how does improving your listening skills help you overcome your fear of speaking? Here is my analysis. When you meet someone, for the first time. So usually you are shy or hold back and don't start talking about sensitive topics right away. Why? Because they are unfamiliar. The same goes for your fear of speaking English. It is the unknown and the unfamiliar, which humans are generally afraid of. By sharpening your listening, you train your brain to be familiar with the unknown sounds and get to know the language. I listened to audiobooks and I trained my brain to listen for the words. I found it difficult and repeated them in my thoughts to subconsciously get used to how they sound. It has not only helped my fear of the unknown, but also added to my vocabulary. I highly recommend that technique. Choose one book you love and listen to it over and over until you can articulate the content without even looking at the book or listening to it. Tip number five is the best is the enemy of the good. So forget about perfection. Focus on the content and logic of your story. Don't aim to be perfect. Don't even try to be perfect when it comes to your grammar or diction right away. Even native speakers get their grammar mixed up. Instead, work on the content and logic of your talk 
or the story you will share. Your audience will follow and understand you if you share an interesting story, even if you have a heavy accent or make grammar mistakes. For example, when I was paying more attention to my pronunciation and accent, I sometimes freeze right before I had to say a word that was difficult to pronounce and even forget what I had prepared. L and R sounds were really tough for me. Words that have both L and R in one word are the worst. So if you can, replace words that are difficult to pronounce with the words that carry the same meaning but easier to pronounce if saying certain words bother you. What if, if you make mistake? Learn to laugh at yourself. Everyone makes mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes. If you make a mistake, laugh it off and make a mental note of it so as to not make the same mistake in the future and take time to practice. It is perfectly normal to fear something you do not know or you do not have much experience with. Everyone struggles in the beginning, but you can only get better with the time and effort. The important thing is your mindset to pursue something new, whether it is a language or a new skill set, and make continual effort to do better. So far, I have shared five practical tips to overcome your fear of speaking English in front of people. And they are... Tip number one, be ready and prepare what you will say in advance. Tip number two, visualize your presentation going smoothly. Tip number three, check your body language during presentation and also even before the presentation. Tip number four is sharpen your listening skills. And tip number five is the best is the enemy of the good. Forget about perfection, focus on the content and logic of your story. I hope the tips I shared with you can help you to conquer your fear of speaking English in front of people. Do you have your own tips that have helped you control your fear of speaking English in front of a crowd? Please share them in the comment section below so the members of this community can benefit from the information and experience you share. If the content I covered today was beneficial to you, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will be back with more tips.